And so, as with all things in this world, I had to pack and move out after one month in the south of France. I had a ticket to Brussels from Paris two days later, and I had rented a small studio midway between Marseille and Paris. While driving, I remembered just how fleeting and temporary our life in this world is. I remembered the days around 2010 when I used to go inside the Paris subway and chant Hare Krishna with my friends Gadadar and Sarah. I would yell with a smile, ladies and gentlemen, reincarnation is like riding in a subway. You get on one train, ride it for a while, and then you switch for another train. In the same way, we drive, or we are driven, or a combination of both, on the highway of our life. And we can't really stop until the final, final stop, which is when we, as souls, hopefully return to Krishna in the spiritual world. I'm not supposed to drink coffee, but when I'm on the road, and sometimes even when I'm not on the road, I gotta take coffee to stay awake. Sometimes we do take pauses on the highway of our life. We think, we ponder, we pray, and then we're off again, hopefully more God conscious than before. Paris traffic reminds me of the frustration that is built into our existence in this physical realm. Krishna does call this place a temporary place of suffering. I spent three nights at Fred and Mojita's place in the 16th district of Paris. As the saying goes, friends in need are friends indeed. Mojita couldn't tolerate me walking around with my things in a plastic grocery bag, so she gave me a carry-on suitcase. But it's from Victoria's Secrets. Kind of funny how Providence sometimes plays a little joke with you. I saw my, my old, old friend, Lorenz, with whom I used to live and with whom I did a lot of missionary work all over France. Now, on to Brussels, on this highway we call our life. As St. Augustine said, this life is but a journey to the everlasting kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> 